Timberwolf people reached back to me with a video on how to fix the, the slow return issue on the uh, Alpha 6. So we're going to be trying that. So basically what they're saying is there is a missing washer in this solenoid thing. So they're suggesting to remove this hose or they remove this end you know maneuver it around and whatnot then they proceed to remove these four allen screws and so on and so forth it doesn't look too painful so i'm gonna try it i'm gonna attempt it hopefully i can get it to running to working if not i'll reach back out to them and see what's going on so i only got about 25 minutes to um get as much done as i can possibly get done because i have an appointment on the computer I have a meeting that i need to attend so hopefully we can get this done rather quick all right back on um i have to take a quick phone from my dear friends over at rs basketball bobcat um yeah i don't know i don't know uh, maybe there's a sister right there i think maybe let's take it off let's take it off get all the need Oh, Jesus. <laughs> All right, so I removed the hose completely. All right, so I'm back. I found the Allen wrench that I need. Um, you know, I'm gonna put the video either here or here of how slow this machine was. But before we get to that, or after we get to that anyway, some, something like that. Um, not only was it really slow on the comeback, but also I noticed that it would try to creep out slowly on its own. And the reason for that is apparently, um, you know, these, these guys have a little bit of play, but that's just because of, of the link part right there. You know, it's like loose. It's supposed to be, I think. But this guy, it actually moves that much. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. It's just this one but i don't know if that um is going to be solved after we make the adjustment that they suggested and uh we'll see the, the adjustment is basically a missing washer we're gonna open it and see if it's really missing if it is we're gonna put a washer um i hope that i have a washer that size and uh if it is there then I'll have to reach out back to them and say, hey, the washer is here. So I don't know what to tell you, but we'll see. All right. So they say remove these four um, bolts with an Allen wrench. They're all right. They're not over tight, which is good. I want to say be careful with this wire. Don't want, Don't go crazy on it. While I'm on doing this, I'm sure I'm gonna have to speed it up so we're not here watching it but am I still happy with the machine as of right now yes I am they were prompt to get me a response hopefully this will fix the issue if not I, I, I'm, I'm a pretty understandable guy so if it's not fixed with this I'm expecting them or I'm hoping that they will stand by their machine and get me taken care of one way or another and by that i mean whether they send a technician out here they send me another pump i don't know see that's the thing whenever buying a machine that you don't have a local dealer it's it can be it can be complicated I'm not saying this is, I'm just saying it can be complicated. These guys answered, these guys have called me and they came up with a video for a solution. I don't think it's enough for me to say, oh no, I'm not touching that. I am touching it, I am trying to fix it. It's also not only I mean, it's, it's my machine, so here we go. That's the uh, holding plate. There's the O-ring. 
that they say it's supposed to stay on there or here. I'm going to leave it there just because I know it was there. So I'm going to leave it there. And this part comes out. Oh, no, the uh, whatever this thing is called comes out. And this part comes out and it has an O-ring right there. So I'm going to leave that right there. Notice a little bit of uh, rust on this. And I don't know how normal that would be or how okay it would be for that rust to be there. So I'm going to clean it and hopefully... Hopefully it's irrelevant. Is it rust or grease? I don't know. <clears throat> what do you think? I don't know. We'll see. Put it aside over here. Then this part is supposed to come off. It's got an O-ring right here. <clears throat> Oh, where is it? Camera? Right there. This is just paint, I think. Yep, just a little bit of paint. Nothing crazy to it. O-ring still there, so I'm going to leave it there. Uh, put that aside. And then this is the part that on the video it says to unscrew it by hand. And sure enough, <coughs> it unscrews with no paint. Now, okay. I don't think this guy was all the way in, to be honest. Okay, there's all the way in. Oh, okay. All right. Nonetheless, we're going to unscrew this guy. Should have checked on that. I don't think it was all the way in. Um, so, got it unscrewed. Got the big washer. So it has all the washers that it's supposed to have. You can see that little washer that it's still kind of like stuck there. There it is. This little washer. They wanted it to be on there. And it is. I mean, it's obviously came attached to this. I think my issue was is possibly that this guy wasn't screwed all the way in. <clears throat> um, on the video that they sent me it does say for this guy to have Loctite I don't know how Loctite would have made it to where I could just grab it with my hand with gloves and oily gloves and unbolt it by hand um, so we're going to do that we're going to Put it all back together, screw it all the way in by hand, and give it a test. Whenever they sent me that video, it shows like that, you know, the little shaft, big washer, and they're like, if you do not have a washer, you need a small washer, then they put the small washer there, then they put everything back together. <clears throat> well, guess what? Mine did have a washer, but the little shaft wasn't screwed all the way in, and that's what I was trying to you know remember whether it was or not and here's the other part so it's got the shaft it's got its washer which is supposed to have its washer this guy goes in here did he grab it yeah he grabbed it all right so i'm just screwing this guy all the way in hopefully the video my own video will help me determine whether this guy was separated or not from the um, this guy goes in first because it covers that and it has its o-ring still in place then this guy goes in and it has its o-ring so it goes right here and then he puts this little thing I think he called it a detent or whatever he called it I put it on the video he says to slide it in and to make sure that we do not hit the, the uh, O-ring that's supposed to be there. But guess what? That O-ring is actually stuck on this little plate. O-ring did not make contact with the little shaft looking thingy. We got two of these uh, screws 
Math start it. Three start it. And last, we're gonna move that wire out of the way, and we're gonna start spinning this bolt. We're speeding up the video for this entire process here, just so I don't bore you with turning an Allen wrench. I'm just gonna snug it there because it wasn't necessarily too tight. Yes, I could have undone those um, hydraulic hoses and have all the room, but I mean, come on, it's only four bolts. I don't really think I have to. So we're just gonna do it like that for right now. Like I said, be careful with that wire because my friends, we got wood to split here. It's getting to its point. This last one that I remember me moving the hose a little bit out of the way and the wire is still out of the way behind my hand here. Hopefully my hand is not really blocking, you know, the part of me putting this guy back in. So everything is back where it needs to be. Oh, I gotta put the, um, the hose before we start this thing. I removed it from here and I removed it from over there just so that it was completely, completely out of my way. I want to make sure it is not touching on anything here. There we go. A few more turns. Let's see. Did we solve the issue? I don't know, but we're going to find out. That's for sure. We have got... Five point six hours on the machine. Let's see if my fix fixed it. If it did, we will know for sure. Let's see. I don't know. Good. So it no longer has the play that it used to have. No longer playing like that. shaft the one that they said to put loctite on i guess they didn't put loctite on from whenever it was manufactured or assembled or whatnot and that's why when i first got the machine it was fast just like it is right now and then it slowed down you know gradually but that definitely is the normal speed this right here is what it's supposed to be so um again going back to so this is play, the, 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 the lever part has play, but the hydraulic control has like maybe one eighth or one sixteenth, I don't know. This has nothing about the same. This no longer has the play that it used to have. Happy with the fix. Hopefully it'll stay. Um, I'm gonna let him know that that you know solve the problem if I do have any more issues I will let them know and I will also let you guys know till next time